You're listening to a Count Out Podcast. What it is, what's up, and welcome everyone to Faces and Feels Anything Goes. That's right, we're back at it again. It is me, it is Rafe, it is your host, and I'm joined as always by Alex from Finals and Violence. How are you today, my man? Pretty good. How are you? I am good. It is a rainy morning here in Perth, Western Australia, and I believe it's a, a nighttime there where you are. Where are you? I forget. Yep, it's actually a rainy nighttime here in Maryland. So we're we're, we're yeah, I got sync. the same weather going on. Perfect. Because we're uh, <laughs> yeah. we're about to get metal. But also sometimes not metal. That's right. That today yeah. we decided to do something a little bit different. Alex and I spend a lot of our time like talking about music. We recommend each other shit literally, I don't know, every day. <laughs> it kind of yeah. is and we're always listening to stuff. So we're like, what if we created uh playlist based around not only stuff that we recommend to each other, that we recommend to other people, but also the idea it would be, you know, targeted to those of you on the road, on on your way to wrestling shows. Wrestlers spend a lot of time in in cars, a lot of hours on the road. Fans drive a long way to go to shows and get back and stuff. So we're like, what if we created On the Road with Anything Goes? And, and it's just a really polyjamorous type playlist that's just all the things we like that's going to give you a huge, you know, range of different stuff that might expose you to new music. Yeah. Like we're not trying to make the perfect mixtape here where it's like it needs to have ebbs and flows and balances and be listened to in order. This is just going to be a mind dump of cool albums and you can sift through or shuffle those at your will. Yeah. How's that sound? Yeah, I love discovering new music, and if I can bring something new to someone else, then e- even better. So I hope, I hope everyone listens to it and finds something that we've picked that they enjoy. Absolutely. Now, Alex, being the more prepared of the two of us, why don't you kick us off um, with your first choice? So the way this is going to work, everybody, is we're going to recommend an album, and then we're probably going to just highlight, say, two tracks off the album, and those will get dropped into the playlist the playlist will be in the show notes and then people can join in and it's an open playlist not one that you can edit right but one that you can follow on spotify and uh follow along because this is going to be sort of an ongoing thing that we continue to add to yeah yeah correct absolutely all righty number pick number one goes to alex what we got okay so this is my favorite driving album i love it i love it the from the first song to the last song, and it is the Damn Things Ironoclast album. That is great, a great choice, uh, and one that wasn't streaming like properly for a while. I remember like the only way I could listen to it for a time was like some dude had put the album on YouTube. For some reason, yeah. it wasn't like so. So it's on Spotify now. Like I can just it's on. It. Yeah, both of their albums are on Spotify. They're both good, but their first one is incredible, and it it's is a super unbelievable. I no one- love it. Yeah, if if no one's aware, it's um, it's you know Scott Ian from Anthrax, yep. it's Keith Buckley from Every Time I Die, mm-hmm. um, super group. Yeah, some dudes from Fall Out Boys in it, I think. The drummer I and the guitarist, yeah, I think. The yeah. But it's a great album. I, I love Keith Buckley. He's one of my all time favorite vocalists, and yep. um, yeah, he throws a little bit of a different um vocal style than Every Time I Die, mm-hmm. more more a uh, hard rock vibe than. Hardcore definitely, vibe. Definitely. Yeah, it's one but, of my um, favorite albums as well. I fucking love this album. Yeah, it's just good cruising music in my opinion. Yeah, you absolutely. Just sing along shit. I love it. Yeah, so, absolutely. Well, what are your tracks? And I might even throw in a bonus one if you don't say it. <laughs> yeah, so I we've got to go with uh, We've Got a Situation Here. That's the song that absolutely is got the music video. It's got a funny music video. Mm-hmm. And I went with I just went with the ironic last song too. So ah, okay. Well, I would throw in Bad Blood. I absolutely yeah, love that, that was, song. I was I was gonna pick that one too. So yeah. yeah, okay, I'll put that on here also. Yeah. 
get them I'm in adding there. them to the playlist as we as we talk about them so this playlist will be complete by the time you guys hear this so. yeah yeah exactly well not complete but you know for for what we have so for what we what we have from this episode will be on there uh yes and right. maybe even the next episode depending how we go for time so yes yeah all right well that is a very great choice and i'll use that to inform my next one because my picks were not so much based around like my favorite driving albums more just stuff that i'm really jamming on at the moment like right she is the moment and I'm going to go with Bill Murray's American Motorsports album, mm. um, which I feel like if you think of like the kind of, you know, rock kind of Southern rock sort of vibes of damn things actually flows pretty well out of it, to be honest. Um, yeah. Now, for those who don't know who Bill Murray is, it's an annoying name, I know, but it's B I L M U R I. Uh, actually turned me off the artist for a long time because I was just like, it's a stupid name. Uh, but <laughs> sometimes stupid names can still be good bands. Uh, this guy used to be in that Crab Call band, Attack Attack, a long time ago. But now he's yes. essentially a solo artist who releases band music and then tours with like a touring band. But check out American Motorsports. The video clips alone are amazing. He just films it himself on like an iPhone. It's just him like mowing lawns. And with each video clip on this album, the mowing machine gets bigger, so it starts with a hand mower, and then the next song is on a ride on, and then by the end he's like in like one of those huge crop thresher things. So yeah, um, combine, yeah, yeah, combine harvester. <laughs> um, but the my two songs from this album are probably if I only am choosing two, I'm choosing the first two tracks. So better hell, thick boy, and then empty handed. Okay. I'm also going to add one to this, and I also have to add a new album to my list because that was also on my list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I've already so thrown, a, thrown a spatter. Yeah, I'm going to add um, All Gas. Yeah, that was that was actually my third choice. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah. There's heaps of good songs okay. on this. Like if, if you like this, I've tried to get a few friends into it and I get mixed reactions. Either people are like, yeah. this is the best thing I've ever heard or – Oh, this is country, man. I'm not really into it. And I'm like, listen further. This isn't just a country album. It's actually no. like a heavy album with country elements. So it's y- it's your alternative. Yeah, is what, they, <laughs> what they're calling it. Yeah, is that what they call it? I thought that's what you called I, it. No, I've just seen it online a few times, and I like the uh, I like it. So I, I like it absolutely. It I want more your alternative bands. So yeah, absolutely. All right, let's keep yeah. it pumping. Your second pick. Okay, I'm going to break away from rock and metal for a second. Yeah, sure. And I'm going to go ahead and go with one of my current favorite rappers, and that's oh. Tara Reid. Oh. He just dropped an album called Manifesto. Okay. And it's got a lot of, like, really cool old-school-sounding beats with, like, a, a more new-school-sounding, like, rap flow to it. Yeah. Um, I've been listening to it a lot. I'll be seeing him at the end of the month in, in D.C., and I think it's phenomenal if you're into uh, white boy rap. So... Love it. <laughs> yeah. I I actually really enjoy hip hop. I was huge into it for a time, like I would say very up to date. It has sort of slid off my radar for a bit. Um yeah. and I ha- I'm not really sort of up to date with like a lot of stuff that's going on, so I look forward to you adding stuff to this list and kind of getting me a bit more up to date with some yeah. independent artists and things like that. That'll it's be cool. unfortunately a really short album, but it is, it's really solid. And he has some other EPs too, that are phenomenal. So if you like what you hear, when I add him to the list, mm-hmm. give his other stuff a listen to, cause it's, it's great. Yeah. No, that, so. that is a great choice. I don't have a bonus one for that. Cause I don't know it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll send it to you. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, I am, this is crazy. So my next artist I know, and I'm on the fence between the albums, so I wonder whether I could do a track from each album. No, that's breaking rules. I'll just need to burn another choice if I want to put the other album on. Um, I'm really into the home team at the moment. I listen to both of their albums sort of back-to-back. They're really um, consistent and like a similar vibe and sometimes it's just like this is just what I want to listen to, right, and I'll just like burn through the albums. I was talking this about this band with Oren Vite just the other day, like after I interviewed him and stuff, we were talking back and forth. Sometimes it's just like the right amount of upbeatness, great musicianship, emo lyrics, like all those kind of things. 
But the new album, I was mainly just on Slow Bloom. I've got to mention him, but I'm not going to recommend a track from that just yet. But I've really been putting in work on the new album. And I'm obsessed with the song Roommates, um, especially like the – it has this like – cool outro that's almost like a, a middle eight, like a, another song, but mm. I, just, I just love the ending of it. And it, it's one of those songs where the ending happens, then I want to listen to the song again so I can hear the ending again. So, yeah, so Roommates. And then, I mean, there's, again, a lot of good tracks on this, but probably just the opening track, Turn You Off, is, like, really fun. It's funny that you say that because – or invite is also who told me about this band. Now, well, you told and me I, about it, and then I, it came full circle that I was talking to Orin about it. <laughs> okay, that's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah he, he's he's shown me some really awesome music in the past. Just chatting back and forth over on Twitter. I think um, the three three of us are into a lot of the same stuff. I in turn recommended him slowly, slowly that album that I got you into. And oh he, yeah, and he nice. loved it. Okay, so you said roommates, and what was the other song? Turn you, you off. To throw on the, what was it? I'm sorry. Turn you off. Okay. The okay. intro song. Turn you off. Added. Okay. Cool. 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 So is it my turn again? It is. Pick okay, three. So this is my. This is this is pick three. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm I'm gonna hit you with this one. Yeah. And it's gonna be a little bit of a uh, promotional package for you. Okay. Um, it's an album. It's an album called Tirades. <laughs> you don't <laughs> <laughs> by this band called discord uh, i don't know if anybody knows this or not but i think they're getting back together for a show here soon <laughs> like real soon actually yeah i think the bass player's still gotta fucking get his shit together in time for this show on saturday but i don't know for sure yeah he's probably wasting his time filming or recording some podcast right now or something. <laughs> this is an absolute <laughs> stitch up by you by the way <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I'm not even trying to like, you know, butter up to you or anything right now. I love this album and oh, I'm glad you, we've become friends and you've recommended this to me because it is a go-to for me. Oh, thank and you. And if buddy. I could pick two songs off it, mm -hmm. the murder horn, mm -hmm. just because that's the song you always play at the end of your episodes before you talk about vinyls and violence. Yeah. Yeah. Or that little so uh, promo package that I, I had running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, so I I've, scored I've it come for to you. Love that song. Yeah, that's that. I, I claim that as my theme song. To be honest with yeah, you, yeah, yeah, it is. That's how I think <laughs> of it when we play. It. We're playing that on Saturday, actually. Oh man, nice. And the other one, I really enjoy the flaming catharsis. Yeah, not playing that one this show, but that is a that's a ripper, right? Um, for anybody, yeah, yeah, for sure. like, how would you? I mean, it's one thing for me to go. I'll describe the sound of my band from fucking. This album came out in 2010 to give people yeah. an idea. But I think I do like to think it holds up. How would you describe like Discord, like the genre of it, I guess? I think the easiest way to put it is if you like Lamb of God, you'll like this. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I would take that. That's, That's got to be a pretty big compliment. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, no, um, yeah, yeah, I could definitely see that. And though Randy and James have a different voice, they do have a sort of phrasing that is a like it, similar it's a little different. bit. Yeah. It's different but similar, I'd yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yep. And if you like it's those like kind Lamb of, of God vocals. was a little more like leaning towards metalcore, and that's yeah, sure. a good and, and yeah, which was absolutely it. where we came from. Like you know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, exactly. So I nailed that. Cool. Yeah, we came from like you know, <laughs> new metal kids who liked you know Machine Head and Pantera, and then discovered Kill Switch and Gage and Chimera and things like that. But then we started you know touring with stuff like Black Dahlia Murder and. Whitechapel and God forbid and stuff. And so we just kept getting more guitar-y, I guess, and more complicated and, you know, and riffy. In fact, I was talking about, about the other day. He goes, we should, we should start a new band that's easier to play. This is the guitarist. <laughs> and back in the yeah. day, he was like, oh, yeah, that's really cool, man. I've just got to make it harder to play. That was his mindset. Like he fucking wanted to riff, you know what I mean, and right, wanted to. right. You know, you're a young man. You want to show how fucking good you are, right? And, like, now he's like a dad and he's like, we just need to dial this back a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I love talking about myself and I appreciate uh, the recommendation. Um, and, yeah, if you're in Perth, well, they won't hear this. This this won't be out for, for a little bit yet. But, um, yeah, okay. we're going to play on October 5th and then hopefully we'll, you know, do some stuff in the future. But we're all 
older men now with like responsibilities and stuff. So we'll be up and moving, but not very fast, you know. Um, my recommendation, I might continue on the heavy trade just because I've been loving this album and I saw this band recently and that is Throne. So T-H-R-O-W-N, their excessive guilt album came out at the end of September, was it? Or August? I don't remember. But Yeah, it was pretty recent. But it's an absolute banger. It moves really fast. It's a great blend of like hardcore metal and kind of new metal as well, like yeah, in a way, I'd you say. know, it's like corn riffs with like fucking hardcore vocals. But yeah, I fucking love this track. Um, it's kind of hard, and I don't mean this to be a read, it's kind of hard to pick which track is my favourite because a lot of them have like a similar vibe. And I, to be honest, I don't know which fucking one is which. Um, but yeah. I would say probably is it, and you know this band too, maybe On The Verge and Knights are probably the two two of the best ones. Or Guilt is good, eh? Uh. I like I think On the Verge is one of the ones I have in my own personal playlist. That's yeah. the one that starts with a little bit of like a like a hip hop sound, right? Yeah, yeah. Hang on one second. I'm gonna yeah. play it and not copyright strike us, but to myself and just check something. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sorry, there was a lot of dead air there. I thought you were just gonna fucking keep it going, but yeah, let's go with. Uh, no, <laughs> let's I'm go. Not, with- I'm, I'm not a professional. So. <laughs> let's go with Guilt and On the Verge, and maybe it comes back around because like. Uh, both are great, but they do. They start with that kind of hip hop kind of vibe and then heavy guitars and stuff like that. So let's do that. Yeah. So on the verge, and what was the other one? Guilt. Guilt. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. I think one of those, well, I think it's on the verge that starts with like his lyrics literally start with like, I, I. It's like hell fucking good. Yeah. Anyway, is that our, that's our recommendations. That's our, yeah. our first three albums each. Side yeah, one, I'm- so to speak. I'm happy about it. I was kind of going for three albums that had different vibes. So yeah, yeah. I think we I think we did that. Like, uh, and some of them flow pretty well as well. You know, there is a bit of the hip hop and the hope team is a little bit different, but I yeah. think in a polyjamorous type mix where you're going to hit shuffle and get a bunch of different stuff, I don't think they're going to be out of place. And like, um. The home team, though it is, you know, singing and, you know, very lyricist fo- focused, they do have riffs as well, you know, like they are, they're a guitar band. So, yeah. 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 yeah they're good. I love them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Well, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this. Hopefully we're mentioning some bands you like and we're already creating your dream playlist. But um, we're going to continue to do this. We'll be recording another Anything Goes on the road with Anything Goes very soon. Uh, and then we'll just, you know, be dropping these in and out between as we slowly build the playlist. Uh, so you might, you know, load up the playlist and find some extra songs there. Uh, just know the episode explaining those songs will be not far off <laughs> if that happens. Yeah. And if anybody has any recommendations for us, definitely hit us up because I'm always Great. looking for new music. Great call. So, yeah. yeah, we will absolutely take listener submissions. So please, yeah, DM us or comment on, on the threads on X or on Instagram or whatever, and we will take those uh, into consideration. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Hells, yeah. And maybe we'll even do – we can kind of do some maybe mini review kind of things. So if they do like, you know, if somebody goes, oh, I recommend these three albums, maybe we'll do an episode based around us, you know, we'll listen to those for the week or whatever. We could then talk about them and decide if any tracks make the playlist kind of thing. We might be like, we loved this and this is why and these two tracks are definitely going in. We might be like, we hated this. Sorry, brah, but it don't make the cut. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but 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 it's no read on anybody, you know what I mean? So, But we're always open to new music, so everything will be listened to and received for sure. I will listen to anything, but I really want to hear smaller, like more local bands because I love yeah. to listen to that kind of stuff and promote them on my page if I can. Like I said, I'll listen to anything, but if, if you have like a local band or if you're in a band or anything, I'll listen to it. I'll – I'll post about it. I Absolutely. love that kind of stuff. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. All right, then. Well, that is us. Tell the people where to find you, Alex. Uh, just Vinyls and Violence over on Instagram. I just dropped a new shirt design with uh, a wrestler named Buddy Badcock. Hell yeah. So check that out. It's on Deathmatch Worldwide. 
and I think it's cool. Shout out, Corey. Absolutely. Check out that stuff. Uh, and then check out at Faces Feels Cast for everything coming up on this uh, on this show. As you probably, I mean, I just said it in this uh, interview. We've got interviews coming up with Oren Veit, uh, interview with Perth's gorgeous Gary, and uh, a very special one that is going to be recorded tomorrow but it's wrestling, so it doesn't happen until it happens. So I don't talk about anything until it's in the bank, so we will see. But if that happens, uh, that's been a bucket list uh, interview for me for quite a while, so very excited. Yes. Absolutely, yes. All right. Well, everybody out there, uh, keep jamming. Let us know what you think of the playlist. And remember, it's all about peace, love, and pro wrestling. Thanks for listening. Faces and Feels is a proud member of the Count Out Podcasting Network. It is created and hosted by me, Ray Houston, edited by myself and the amazing Ryan Neitze, and the show is available on all good podcast platforms, so please go rate and subscribe. You can follow the show everywhere on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc., at Faces Feels Cast, and you can check out the Count Out Network and all our sister shows over there at Count Out Pod. If you'd like to book me for commentary, have an interview request, a topic suggestion, or you just want to say hi, you can email us at facesandfeels at gmail.com. With all that said, thanks for listening, and please support our friends and sponsors. Peace. My body is a roadmap of pain. Deathmatchworldwide.com, the official online merchandise store that is only for Deathmatch Wrestling. Featuring official t-shirts from No Peace Underground, John Wayne Murdoch, Akira, Madman Pondo, Zona 23, Neil Diamond Cutter, G Raver, Schlack, Necro Butcher, and many more. If you are a deathmatch wrestling, promotion, manager, or platform and are interested in joining the web store, send us an email to deathmatchworldwide at yahoo.com. Deathmatchworldwide.com for the violent view. This has been a Count Out Podcast. Ring Post Radio is the only show hosted by Ryan Knight and Scotty Edwards that talks about the entire world of professional wrestling. With new episodes coming out every Sunday, there is absolutely no reason to not listen to real, honest wrestling opinions from two crazy maniacs. Have a hot boy summer and listen along to Ring Post Radio every Sunday on the Countout Network. <laughs>